Hello, how's it going guys? Welcome to the stream and let me just get the iPad up on my big screen now. There we go. There we go. So we are live. We've got this potentially amazing war in the EYG. So it's going to be, I'm not even going to say the actual clan's name, but it's Crazy Teddy Bear and Queen Walkers or Queen Walkers Stephanie as it's called now. Okay. So that's where we are guys that's where we are so we are doing a uh, cheeky little gold pass giveaway throughout the stream so we've got 35 seconds till the attack starts so i'm just going to put it out there now if you want to enter into the giveaway it's exclamation mark bvop to enter into it so i'm just going to do it in the chat for you now just do what i did and you'll enter into the giveaway guys okay so lineups real quick we've got lord evil emil sebka maestro and mr camille let me turn the music down Really loud. Just noticed that. My bad. Quickly, we've got Stars, Garku, Yuta, Stardra, Klaus, and the first attack is in. It's Stardra in on Maestro. So Stardra coming in with a Super Dragon here. So he's gone with four Rages, five Freezes. Even Queen Walkers aren't immune to air spam. Even these guys love a little bit of air spam every now and again. So we've got the Queen dropped in over at 9.30. We've got an Archer at 9. We've got Balloons coming in at 8. And Super Dragon's right in behind with a Stone Slammer. Okay, so he's gone for the Stone Slammer variant. So he's trusting something to get that Town Hall down. Something's going to do it. He's got one Super Dragon that's gone stray like right down there. I'm not sure where it's going. But it's kind of helping, actually. It's helped to funnel... Maybe that was intentional. It's kind of funneled those two super drags in towards the town hall. We've got a few more working the way up from 9 through to 12. The hound pops. Queen's going to help to take out those pups. It's looking okay. It's looking okay. I'm not sure if this is looking like a triple right now. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This isn't the strongest Stardra attack I've ever seen. Um... Single Inferno still being up kind of worries me a little bit. It's locked on to one of the Super Dragons. He freezes it up. Is he going to get a direction from that Super Dragon into the single again? 
he does towards the single. Red air bombs picked up, more red air bombs picked up, and the single does go down. Okay, I was a little bit worried. Not so much anymore. The RC finally gets dropped in. She's going to walk in and help the king out, taking out that defending RC. We've got two super dragons still up. One on about a third health, the other one on full health. Okay. Okay. And with the RC ability still available, this is going to be a three star from Stardew. This is looking really, really good right now. Or is it? Is it? Those skellies holding the RC up. Wait a minute. Did I just jinx Stardew? Is that even possible? I don't know, man. I don't know. Scatter does go down. If he can get a Tesla down, he should be able to still get it. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. There's no way the Arch Tower and Tesla are going to take out that Super Dragon. Is there? Is there a way that could happen? I mean, if there is a way, it's purely going to be for a BB Jinx. That's the only way it could happen. So Gold Storage down. And oh, the Tesla stood. How did the Tesla out HP a Gold Storage? I've just jinxed Stardra. Guys, if you're a member of the channel, you've got that BB Jinx emote. Get it thrown up now because I deserve it. 95% two star from Stardra. It was a shaky plan to start with anyway, but bleh, rough. Okay, we've got plenty of people opted into the giveaway. Remember, exclamation mark BBOP to enter into it. We've got um, 15 in it so far. So GG guys, well done. Now let's catch up with chat really, really quickly before the next attack starts. So... Who we got? We got Putty Rose, we've got Ishan, we've got Satij, we've got Krishna, we have Brian Baru. Brian, my favourite Irish man, or one of. Boraz, hello, hello. Only pro players in the chat, yo. Hey Boraz, what's up, man? Um Yash, we have, we have Zaria. We got Shah, hello. Hey, we got Ellie. Ellie from Why why can't I think? Bushido. Bushido. Awesome to see, man. Who else we got? Brandon. Hello. How you doing, man? Brandon Dean in the house. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, anyone else? Arizona. Arizona Yeti's here too. OP. OP. We got Abhishek as well. We got Shri. We got Ike. Oh my God. It's all my favorite people. Prashant. What's up, guys? Good to see you. So you need to be here at the end of the stream to find out if you win. So if you're not here at the end of the stream, then sorry. Can't help you there. Sebka in on Garku. Sebka coming in with a Queen Charge Hybrid. Nicely non-air spam. So um, Crazy Teddy Bear, if you can't get from the, the name, they're actually a Polish team. I didn't know this. I'd, I'd heard of them, but never actually seen them before. But uh, apparently to, they must be good. They've got this far in the EYG, which is not a easy competition to make it in. Especially with the likes of Queen Walkers. We've had Space Station Gaming who were in this stage of the tournament too. They took on Inquisition last night. And I'll have a video of the recap of that coming to you on Monday. So I've got that made and ready. But that's some Monday content for you guys to get you through the early part of next week. Okay. So Queen Charge looking pretty, t uh, pretty tasty actually. Town Hall goes down. Hound's going to get dealt with. And the Queen's only under a little bit of pressure from an expo. Is that a ground or an air bow? It's a ground bow. Okay. So small amount of pressure. The queen's getting through. No problem. Pups mostly gone. Only two left. And the pups are gone. Queen steps up. Finds the nado even better. That means those hogs when they're in play won't catch a nado. End up getting slowed down and separated from the miners. We have the siege barracks in at 3 o'clock. Pekka comes out obviously. Weird that he didn't tank the siege barracks first. So he's allowed at least three shots from that mortar onto the siege barracks. Yeah, there you go. Three shots go in. And the mortars, it's not devastating, but it does enough damage to a siege barracks to significantly weaken it. Same with a flame flinger, really. You want to keep those mortars from latching on. If they do, you're going to shorten the shelf life significantly. And that's what's happened here. Having said that, I'm looking at the timing of his hybrid and the timing of those hogs coming out. Kind of matched up okay. Was that calculated from Sebka? Did he do that on purpose? I I'm actually wondering. I'm wondering now, guys. He might have done. He might have done. Okay, so hybrid sweeping through the lower side. Queen in the middle. She's got the healers on her, but um, yeah, they're kind of dwindling a little bit. And they've even switched to a Pekka because obviously Pekkas need healers more than the Queen does. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't write the rules. And uh, yeah, it's looking like a three star anyway, guys. We've got 38 seconds left. RC ability still in hand and a free spell and two sneakies and a wizard for cleanup. Unstoppable. This is why hybrid is still actually really strong as long as you're good at it. 
I'm not so good at it, but Sepia apparently, OP. Insane hit, 18 seconds left, and that is a job well done from Sebka. Three star on Garku. If you're going to three star someone, Garku is the man you want to three star, isn't he? Let's face it, guys. Okay. Hey, Hellboy, what's up, man? Hey, Electro, good to see you. And Summit's here too. I am noob. Me too. Me too, noob. Me too. Ashitosh, what's up, man? Good to see you. Okay. Okay, hey Michael, what's up? Good to see you, man. So yeah, if you want to enter in, you only have to enter it once, by the way, guys. So if you've done your exclamation mark BVOP, you are already in the giveaway. So no need to enter again. And just while we've got a few seconds in between the next attack, why don't you also treat yourself a little bit and go and subscribe to this channel and smash the like button on the stream. Do those two things and I guarantee you will have a look for the next seven years. That's how this works. I promise you. With Big Bale Lie. Might have made that up, but I'm not lying. It's not a lie. It's just something that I made up. Okay. Next hit you very, very soon. Hey, Axis. What's up? How you doing? Oh, <laughs> that reminds me. I forgot the EYG. Wait, why isn't my EYG logo up? Oh, that's why. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Hey, Ashitosh. What's up, man? How you doing? How are you? Okay, next hit you any second. Now, why didn't anyone tell me the logo wasn't up? Awkward. Okay, so we've still got hits to come from Queen Walkers, from Stars, Yuta, uh, Garku, and Klaus. I mean, of course, Stars and Klaus are probably your two like marquee hitters. They're the ones who, if you want to see something fancy, something a little bit flash, they're the ones for they're, they're the ones for you. They've got to be, haven't they? Garku, though, Mister Reliable, coming in with a Queen Charge Dragon Rider. This guy, he very rarely fails. And yes, I am aware this is a BB Jinx, but the guy is solid, very consistent. And that's probably why I would rank him as one of the best players in the world. Not because he does all creative, crazy stuff, but just because of the consistency level that you see in his attacks. So Queen Charge moves into the Town Hall, freezes up the single and expo. So Queen's under very little pressure from an Arch Tower. Steps up, single goes down. That was a perfect wall break. Getting that queen into the singles. Make sure she directed towards it. Headhunter moving in. Rage goes down. Is that going to be enough to keep the queen? Yes, it is. Queen ability is still intact. Beautiful. Beautiful work from Garku. I mean, you wouldn't expect any less. This guy is phenomenal. But the king moves in at 3 o'clock. He's taken out most of that 3 o'clock side. Super wall breaker coming in behind. Healers keeping that queen nice and healthy. Where's she going to go? The idea, of course, is for her to move in towards the scatter shot, And that looks like the pattern that he's building. Poison gets dropped in. What have we got? We've just got archers there. No headhunter. Is that a 15 archer CC? I think it might be. Flame Flinger over at 9 o'clock now. Oh, he's carving this base up. This is like a Christmas turkey. The base is just disappearing before our eyes. Queen making it towards the core. Flame Flinger firing those flame spirit things. You know, those things that burn. Those things. See him jumping around there. Smashing everything. Such a OP siege. I'd call it underrated, but it's absolutely not. Everyone knows how strong it is. He was locked onto by the air defense. He's got nothing to deal with that, really. Other than Queen Patting that clearly dealt with it beautifully. Well done, Queen. Walked away when she was under pressure, and she is now in the clear. All right, so defending Queen's about to go down. We have... How many Dragon Riders up? Two, three Dragon Riders up. Pretty good. Uh, Flame Fling is still up. It might even still be up by the end of the attack, guys. Let, let's be real. I'm not even sure that Flame Fling is going to go down. Oh, it does. He popped it manually. Whatever then, Garku. He did that to spite me. And only an air defense left to take out with 36 seconds to go. A Swag Freeze, Swag in Biz, Swag Troops. And that is a job well done from Garku. This guy is unreal. Like I said, guys, he's missed the consistency. He doesn't really fail. And if he does, he probably did it on purpose. GG. Beautiful hit. So, that is five stars for Queen Walker's Stephanie. Nice. Really good start. Good start to the war. At least I remembered to put UIG in the title. Yes. Can you touch your nose with your pink top? What? Satish, you get weirder every day. Shandan, hello. Welcome, welcome. If used properly, this machine can last up to... Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. You see it with um, 
things like e-drag attacks and you will see it survive the entirety of the attack. It's kind of insane. Kind of insane. Hey unknown, what's up? How you doing? Alright. Next hit from the crazy teddy bears. What do you think about the new name of Queen Walkers? Preferred the old one, Buraz. I preferred the old one, not gonna lie. I preferred just Queen Walkers. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Lord Evil in on Utah. So Lord Evil coming in with a super giant bowler witch attack. Wow. Okay. Okay. Is this meta? I think not. I think not. So he's got the plane flinger firing on the town hall. We've got the warden walk over at three o'clock. Warden's just sniping away, doing his thing. And uh, yeah, looking like a good start. So this is a pretty textbook entry. This is what you do if you're doing pretty much any smash attack using the Warden and Flame Flinger. You'll funnel one corner of the Warden, one corner with the Flame Flinger. You've seen it with my Super Bowler Smash, which is one of my marquee attacks. And it, it just works. It creates that really, really direct funnel. I mean, there's no mistake in it. There's no way troops can walk out. It, admittedly, he's not cleared it out as well as he could have done. The gold mine is there, but he should be okay still. Flame Flinger is going to just be wandering around now. It's got nothing else to do, has it, really? Everything else has taken over. Super giants, bowlers, and witches. What is this? What is this attack? And if it works, is it something that we need to make a video on? Probably. Why did he freeze a wizard tower and not anything else? Who knows? Find out next time in BBOP. Okay, RC is just taking out the scatter. Honestly, that freeze was basically swagged on the wizard tower there. King working his way around from 12 towards 9. And... Yeah, this isn't going to be something I'll make a video on, I don't think, guys. I don't, I don't see this one turning into a triple at this point. He's got two freezes and an invis, plus the queen and RC ability. But he's got that defending queen to get through. So he uses one of his final freezes. That scatter shot, is it going to fire a shot? No, it doesn't get another shot off. Am I writing him off too early? Is this a BV reverse jinx? Don't know. Maybe. So he's gone for the same CC that I usually take as well. He's gone for the Valks in the uh, Flame Flinger. Really good cleanup. I may have spoken too soon. This is actually looking pretty good. Oh my god. How has this tripled? How has this tripled, guys? This is not a meta attack. This should not have worked. But it did. And Big Vale was wrong. I'm sorry, Lord Evil. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doubting you. Nice hit. Really well done. Okay. This is somewhat Town Hall 12 or 13 smash or spam. Yeah, true, Abishek. Very true. Okay. This is a three star. Well, yeah, I know that now, Boraz. I know that now. Super Archer Clone Blimp can wipe out entire core of the base, and that is very satisfying to watch. True, Abishek. I love it, man. I love it. That was crazy. That was crazy, Teddy Bear. The plan was OP and overkilled the base. It was clear from the beginning. Yeah, okay, Boraz. Okay. Okay. Always Jinx. True. Very true. Okay. Right. A little bit of hydration there. Some peach juice. Tropical-ish. It's not really tropical, is it? It's 52. Jog on, Boraz. I am not 52. I am not. Okay. Next hit coming in from Queen Walkers. Stephanie. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Klaus? I, I feel like he's going to be attacking last. I feel like it's going to be maybe a Stardra hit here. So Stardra is more of your conventional attacker. Similar to Garku. Not sure about the same level of consistency. But he's still very strong. Very 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 good attacker. He wouldn't be in Queen Walkers if he wasn't. I feel like maybe it's going to be Stardra next. Hey JB. What's up? How you doing? You knew it. Your reactions. Thanks Satish. Thanks. Because I'm young, I've got quick reactions. Is that what you're talking about? Grandpa Bear. Oh my god, Boraz. OMG. OMG. Star Drill Daddy. Oh, what? Oh, I meant Yuta. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. My bad. I meant Yuta. That is what I meant, Electro. You know how Star Drill and Yuta, they kind of sound the same when you say them out loud? That's what happens. It's just had a hard life. But... All right, thanks, Grant. Thanks, Grant. Everyone just ganging up on Big Vale. But at least he's healthy. Thank you. Stars is in. What have we got? 
the master of Lalo is in with well, Lalo, obviously, obviously. So uh, Stars coming in with a 30 loon 2 hound. He's going to be a Siri Lalo, of course. We've got a uh, golem in there to supplement the Siri. What's the Town Hall takedown device? He's got a log launcher selected, so he's going to be coming from the back end at some... I'm not sure what direction. Maybe through the Eagle? Yeah, it looks like maybe he's going through the Eagle with the log launcher. Which seems a little bit wild to me, you know? It does seem kind of wild, but if anyone can make it work, it's Stars. Not Stardra. No, because he's already attacked. He has already hit, guys. Okay, so Queen is sued in. It's a naked Queen in that she's got no healers on her. She does have a unicorn, of course, so she will get back up to full health before she gets targeted again. King goes in, Super Warbreak goes down, and there goes the Golem. Will that Golem tank for the cannon? No, it will not. It won't. So Queen is going to get retargeted again pretty soon when she steps up. While Gorncha coming in, it is working through the Eagle Comp, as I predicted, because I, I know how these big brain plays work. Freeze down on the cannon and RC. Nice freeze, actually. Allows the Queen to maintain the ability and work her way through those two structures. Not that the RC is a structure, but you get what I'm saying. Freeze goes down on the RC. We've got the log launcher breaking open. Was that a little bit early? Did he want one more log to open up the wall to the town hall? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure whether that was part of the plan or not. He doesn't have a jump spell to get him through to the town hall. So his other option here... Oh, that's rough. Queen and Hound double teaming the attacking Queen. I'm a little bit concerned here. He's having to Lolo into the Town Hall. He is going to get Town Hall activation. Only 2% needed to get it. But has he got the path into the Town Hall here? Okay, yeah, he's got a bunch of balloons that have made it there. Throws it up. Hasted over it. And the Tome needs to go off. When's it going to go? There it goes. And the Town Hall does go down. He's running a little bit lower on balloons now. He's still got a big batch of them. He's still got four to drop in. But considering he had 30... They're thinning out pretty fast at the moment. The heal spell goes down against the wizard tower. Does a really nice job of keeping those balloons alive. Scattershot is the only major threat standing. Freezes it up. He does have an invis. Needs these balloons to hustle on in towards that scatter. Cannot afford to lose them. And he is overwhelming it. The scattershot surrounded. That is going to be a three star from stars. With a swag invisibility in the pocket. Beautiful work stars. Well done. It was looking slightly, slightly shaky. That Town Hall took a long time to go down to that batch of balloons. But he held his nerve, held his held his eternal tome, and only used it when he absolutely, really, really needed to. Well done, Stars. That was OP. Okay. So, guys, reminder, if you want to enter into the giveaway, exclamation mark B-V-O-P in the chat to enter in. If you've already entered, don't worry. You don't need to do it again. Only one entry per person. We've got 28 in so far. And it will be for a gold pass courtesy of Big Vale. And it's going to be through uh, PayPal. So if you ain't got PayPal, then whatever. You can't have it. Sorry. Okay. The ball's on this man. I know Electro. I know. Insane. Insane. Hi, hello. Satish, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? BV, this is my army of your viewers turning against you. <laughs> okay, thanks, Boraz. Thanks, mate. All right, we've got Maestro in on Stardra. Maestro with a Queen Charge Rider. We saw this earlier from Garku. Is this one going to be as clean as Garku's? Because his was pretty solid. It, it never looked like failing, not even for a second. Blimp makes it to the multi. Okay. Interesting investment of a blimp just to take out a multi inferno. I guess you got the CC pull with it, and he did get a sweeper down too, actually. That did work out okay. I take it back. Didn't invest the rage, so he didn't overkill it. Worked out pretty nicely. Maestro, Queen charging into a hound. Got some archers backing it up. No, no headhunters here. So, well, we've seen a lot of hound 15, uh, 15 archer CCs in this war for defensive CCs. A little bit unusual. Something that you'll only usually see on one maximum two bases in the war. Mainly because most teammates are just too cheap to fill CCs. I know this for a fact because my team's exactly the same way. 
So queen is going to step in, take out the defending queen. Is she going to walk inside here or is she going to go to the outside? I'm, I'm not sure which way she's going to go inside. Brilliant. So she can get to the eagle potentially if the king goes down there. Brilliant. Oh my god, this is looking so good, maestro. This guy is a maestro. He really is. So queen is going to get forced in towards the town hall. She will have to go up against two scatters, two expos and that giga inferno. I don't think that's anything she can't handle. I don't feel like this is going to be a major issue for her. RC joining in the fun too. This is a monster Sui going alongside the Queen Charge. I'm not certain the RC was necessary there, but it's definitely helped. It has definitely helped. So RC ability goes off. Can she finish off that defending RC? It's going to be close. Yes, she does. Queen targeting the Town Hall. Locked on by a Scatter. Expo. Two Expos and the Giga Inferno. Town Hall goes down. Beautiful work. He's got no Rages left. So the Queen's going to be under too much pressure when that Rage wears off. We get the Dragon Riders coming in from five. Queen taking the scatter. Only one expo locked on. That rage really came in clutch for him there. Still has a freeze. Still has an invis. And there's only one air defense left in the base. And we know dragon riders can stand up pretty well to an air defense. So I don't think that's going to be a major issue. Only expo left standing is ground targeting too. This one looks pretty wiped to me. 35 seconds to go. Is he going to have time to do this? That's the only question left standing here. Is time going to stop him? I actually think he'll be okay. I think, or maybe not actually. I spoke too soon, guys. I think it is going to be a time fail. I don't think he is going to be okay. I think this is definitely, I know it's a time fail, guys. Rip, rip to Maestro. Such a nice attack. What a horrible way for it to end. The pathing that he manipulated for the Queen into the core. Really, really sweet, but this is a monster time fail coming in at 92% overall. So unfortunate, man. Really unfortunate. Maestro, great hit, just not quite the outcome that you needed. Having said that, they are still level on stars and oh, down by one point. No, down by 0.6%. That's three buildings, isn't it? Really close. Really, really close. Wow. Okay. Okay. The NATO pulled the Queen away from the poison. Oh, did it? I didn't even notice that point, Electro. Didn't even notice that. Good attack. It was. He, uh, he was kind of robbed there. I'll be honest. If I did that attack and didn't triple, I'd be gutted. I would be gutted. It was really well worked. Credit where it's due. Okay, we got Klaus in. Klaus is in on Sebka. Queen charge. It's a Queen Charge hybrid, but he's gone with 22 miners. 22. This is like a mass miner hit. This isn't a hybrid. This is a mass miner. Damn. Okay. So Queen drops in over at 10 o'clock. We've got a Sneaky Goblin moving in towards the drill. Queen's going to step forward. Is she going to get busted in towards the town hall here? Is that what's going to happen here? I don't... I mean, I don't see, in fact, she can't get busted into the town hall. She has to be funneled in through one of the gaps. That seems to be the only way through. So, this is... This is interesting. I think he is trusting the Queen to walk through that gap dead at 9 o'clock. So, she's going to swing around. She does. Okay, okay. Okay. So, town hall is going to get targeted. We've got two freezes. One of them is definitely needed. What is this log launcher? What is the log launcher for? Is he doing it to damage the single inferno? He, I think he is. I think he's doing it. He, is he trying to take out the single with it? Oh my lord! He's not going to manage it. But that was, that was a nice idea. If that log launcher had been placed back a bit further, I think it would have got the single down. So as it stands, single is going to remain. That was essentially a swagged siege machine. I don't think he really got anywhere near the value that he was hoping for from it. So Queen moves on to the Expo. And he freezes the Hound, but not the single. What? Klaus, no. Klaus, what are you doing, man? What is going on? So he throws the Hound, missed the single completely. The Queen hopefully can still get through that single. Hog sent in. 
that was an emergency play. So it has turned into basically a mass minor hit now. The Hogs didn't really play a part here. They just tanked for the Queen against the single that I think was planned to go down anyway. A little bit rough, but he's powering through. I mean, we know Klaus. We know how good he is, guys. He's not going to let this put him off too much. So Miners and those few Hogs working through the base. Queen is not going to last. She can't last much longer here. She's only got, I think, two healers on her. Yeah, two healers. Multi-Inferno is just burning, burning, burning away. Miner's trying to work around the outside. That multi needs to go down. But the Queen, without ability, she had to burn it against the Hound because that single didn't go down. It's going to be pretty tight, this one, guys. But it's not looking like a three-star. But I've got a habit, apparently, of calling these things incorrectly. So I'm not going to say either way what I think it's going to be. But it's looking a little bit tight. He has got plenty of miners still up. And they have made it into the 12 o'clock side. Ten oh, wait. I just noticed the time. It's going to be a time fail. It's going to be a time fail at best. So no heal spell left over. And it's going to finish on a high 80s time fail. Yeah, I didn't notice the time, guys. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been saying it was close. Because it was nowhere near close. It was nowhere near tight enough. Damn. Wasn't needed. Queen wasn't in range of single. Yeah, I think he was doing it just to get rid of the single for a little bit later on in the charge, Brandon. But you're right. You're right. Oh, Shri Klaus fan. I don't know what you just said there, Akash. No idea what you just said. The classic attack. It was a bit of an unusual one, guys. It was a bit of an unusual one. Okay. Okay. So guys, if we can stick to English in the chat, please, because I ain't got a clue what you're saying if you speak in any other language. I only speak English, so I know you guys can speak it, so please stick to it. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right, we've got Mr. Camel in on stars. So Mr. Camel coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo. Okay. Okay. Town Hall goes down to a blimp. Queen isn't going to actually move inside here. I don't think she needs to. Those ground bows, though, will continue the pressure. Oh, never mind. Super wall break in. Gives the queen nice access inside the base. So queen will step up. She is in the rage still. Is she going to be in the rage when she locks onto the bow? Yes. So the expo goes down quickly. We have a single just behind those expos as well, though. Luckily, the queen can get the CC dealt with before stepping anywhere near that single inferno. Before she gets anywhere near it. So we've got the poison down. Hound's about to pop. Beautiful work. Really nice, Mr. Camille. Well done. Well done. Good start to the attack. He's got a 19 loon, one hound Lalo to finish it off with. Two rage, one haste, two freeze, and an invisibility. Queen locked on to bad single, freezes it up, a load of scaly spawn. That's always the thing that worries me about going in with limited amounts of freezes and invis. Skeleton traps, they are the bane of my existence. Anywhere that I try to charge, you guarantee there's going to be like 500 skeletons pop up. And I'm not even exaggerating, literally 500. Literally. So we've got the Lalo now moving in. He's gone very concentrated from the 11 o'clock side. Perfect, perfect deployment. Queen takes out the core multi, steps up, takes out air defenses. She's got all air defenses in her range now. Oh, wow. This is looking pretty, pretty strong. That multi stands, though. I thought that multi was going to go down. We get two balloons go to it. That'll finish it. Scatter goes down. Queen still up with ability. The RC is in play over at 2 o'clock. We don't have headhunters to deal with her. What was the plan for that RC? What was he going to do with it? Did he, like, waste a headhunter or something? What? What happened? Okay, we got minions ganging up on the RC now. That should be enough to finish it. Hopefully. Hopefully, RC go down. RC does go down. Nice work. Really well done. Big pack of balloons moving in at 5 o'clock. And that is a job well done from Mr. Camille. Taking out stars. And this one, guys, is not a time fail. Because I actually checked the time before I said it was going to be a 3 star. I actually paid attention this time. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. Wow. Wow. Queen can easily handle single or two threes. True. True, true, true. 
mapping one stars with your super archer blimp strategy in legends yeah you need to be better at it zaria if you get better at it you'll definitely get more than one star everyone's here everyone is here stealthy hey krishna electro spam best electro spam bit too easy that is not for me i suck at it but daedric hello how are you welcome welcome Minions ganging up on RC. I know, yeah, they proper smashed it. They proper smashed it. Okay. Check DM. Oh, okay. That, that feels like something I had to urgently check, Boraz. Thank you for that. Which one are you? Which one are you in the picture? I've got no idea. Waiting for my Legend Hits video. That'll be tomorrow. Legend Hit video tomorrow. Papa Magambo best in E-Drag spam. Yeah, he is. I agree, Abhishek. Papa Magambo OP. All right, Yuta in on Lord Evil. Yuta coming in with a... Another Queen Charge Rider. Another Queen Charge Dragon Rider. So everyone vote for Queen Walkers. I should close the poll down, actually. I should really do that. 95% of the poll in for Queen Walkers. So we've got Yuta in on Lord Evil. Yuta coming in with a Queen Charge Rider with a Inferno Dragon. Just to add a little bit of a twist to it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So Queen, is she going to get broken into the Eagle? I feel like she will. Otherwise, why would he take out the army camp? Or not? No? No? Okay, whatever then. Whatever, Yuta. Just prove me wrong. I'm sure he wanted to, but he's like, Big Vale wants me to do that. So I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'll do it to spite him. Okay, so Queen Charge is down. She's going to work her way round to the scatter shot over at 7. We're going to get the wall break down. Queen can now move in towards the scatter. One balloon. Oh my god, that was actually really smart. Well done, Yuta. One balloon moving into the eagle. That's going to... Oh, that could take a while to take out, though. Inferno Drag as well. If that sweeper latches onto the Inferno Drag, will it? Can it? No, it's fine. He's got it. Eagles going down, Queen taking out the defending Queen, and we've got the Log Launcher down. That's working that straight line through to the Town Hall. Looking really good. Actually looking really, really smart here. We get the Zaps down in the core. Most of... Yeah, most of the Clan Castle dealt with already. We've got two Headhunters rushing out towards the Queen, but she will snipe them off without too much of an issue. There we go. Okay. We can call this a three-star already, guys. You know this one's going to triple. I don't even care about the potential of a BB Jinx here. This is not a Jinx. There's no way this one can fail. There is, obviously, because I've said it now and it could happen. I mean, he might just force quit the, quit the attack just because I said it. Oh, wait, he's only got a minute and 15 left, actually. I should have looked before I said that. Time is maybe a factor. He's got the start of the Dragon Rider push coming in. All five Dragon Riders in play. Queen hung up on a Hound. Drops the poison. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned now. I think I spoke too soon. So Queen is under rage. She is going to push through the Multi and Tesla farm. She can't get to the Town Hall from there. She can't reach it from that position. So she's either going to have to pound at a wall or hope that the Dragon Riders take that Town Hall down. He's getting a little bit fortunate with his Dragon Riders so far. All of them currently are still alive, moving in towards the Town Hall. 30 seconds left. Dragon Riders get there. He's got no spells to support it beyond that Rage, of course, which was apparently more than enough. Queen is still up, taking out that Defending King. That ability had to be burnt, and it came in clutch there. And Okay, maybe I'm not so concerned after all. This worked out really nicely for you three. He's going to finish it up a little bit tight on time. Finishing with only about six seconds left, but he does get the job done. Yuta, well done. Beautiful play. And where does that leave us in the war? Okay, so Queen Walker's two stars ahead. Okay, okay. So what are we looking at here? This will be a... Is it going to be like a... 92% two star needed. Something like that. Something like that. But they only need a two star to win. A high percent two star. And Crazy Teddy Bear will take out Queen Walkers. Who is it still to hit? Emil. Emil in on Klaus. 
Okay. Okay. I think you have the wrong veil. What? I think TG veil. What? What are you talking about? Town hall compartment didn't open. Yeah, true, true, true. I'm not sure if that's what he was going for though. If he was, that was kind of ambitious. So I'm not, I'm not sure that was the play. All right, so we got Emil in on Klaus. Guys, you've got like five minutes left to enter into the giveaway. If you want to enter into it, it's exclamation mark BVOP in chat. We will be announcing the winner after the war. Okay, Emil in on Klaus. Let's go, Emil. Air spam. Imagine having your closer using air spam. That's kind of unusual, isn't it? Usually with your closer, you've got like a really intricate plan that they've had to like come up with throughout the duration of the war. Not here. Not here. So on this occasion, we've got Emil coming in with air spam. Straight up super drag spam. They're coming in from 10, 11, and by the way, I'm not knocking him. You know, it's in the game. It does work. But I was expecting something a little bit fancier. Not going to lie. So super drag's working through. We've got the blimp crossing over. And that will get to the town hall, I think. Although the sweeper's trying to have something to say about that. What's in the blimp? Is he going to have sneakies? Is it going to be a Yeti blimp? Yeti blimp would be pretty cool right now, actually, I think. Balloons. Balloons. and Oh, clone balloon blimp. Okay, very nice. Very nice, Emil. Well done. Well done. So town hall goes down. So does the single behind it. We've got no singles left. We've got two air defenses left in the base. And we've got, what, four, five... Soon to be three Super Dragons up. Looking okay. In fact, it's looking better than okay. This is looking absolutely crushed. We've had 57 seconds of this attack so far. And there's not really much of a threat left in it anymore. So Emil's RC working through the base ahead of the Queen. So what the RC doesn't pick up, the Queen will be able to. So the Queen essentially acting as a cleanup here behind the RC, picking off the gold mines, the barracks, etc. RC moving on, tanking the scatter. This is game over. Crazy Teddy Bear coming in with a beautiful performance here. Totally outplaying Queen Walkers and coming in with a just an amazing win. Not the result all you guys expected. You guys in the poll said 95% of you thought Queen Walkers were going to win. And here we have it. The war has ended. And Crazy Teddy Bear do get a 14-13 win. 2% overall lead as far as percentage goes. Which, what what's that? That's like a few buildings. I don't even know what. I'm not even doing maths today. But uh, yeah, Crazy Teddy Bear. Oh, P, you voted for Crazy. You're probably the only one who did, Abhishek. Probably the only one who did. You're so happy they won against Queen Walkers. Why, Boraz? Why? Give me your reasons. So, guys, last chance to enter the giveaway. Exclamation mark BVOP in the chat to enter into the giveaway. Rip95. Yes, Delphi. Yep. 95% of people can be wrong. Okay, and guys, before we do the giveaway announcement, if you don't already subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you did. Why am I getting invited to a Polish clan? Probably because I'm in this Polish clan. They think I'm part of the team. I'm not. Voted for QW, not QWF. Okay. I understand. So yeah, please do subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. Okay. Now we will announce the winner of the giveaway. So guys, if you do win the giveaway, you will need to message me on Discord. And you will need to message me on Discord with your PayPal details. Okay. And we are going to announce the winner in three, two, one. Michael 88000. Michael, are you here? If Michael's not here, we're going to give it to someone else. So, Michael, are you here? Are you here to claim your prize, my friend? Wasn't expecting Queen Walkers to lose, but props to Tech. Yeah, for sure, Daedric. For sure, man. Queen Walkers doesn't take anything serious except worlds. Is that right? I, I don't know if that's true or not, to be honest, Boraz. Hey, Michael is here. So, Michael, congratulations on the win. If you're not in my Discord server, the link is in the description of the uh, the stream. So, go click on that. Join up, join up to my server and drop me a DM with your PayPal details. Oh, 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 Michael. Well done on the win. Congratulations. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> love your name man love it all right guys so um yeah that's that's really all we had for today because i need a nap i need to sleep big veil vale loves naps by the way if anyone doesn't know that then that's like one of my favorite things in the world so i am gonna say guys thank you so much for turning up to watch i appreciate all of you and yeah much love big veil vale is out
Tonight, I wanna feel tonight. Oh. 